So many times we need to sample uh, AC signal using Arduino analog grid. So, so Arduino analog grid sampling frequency is maximum of 10 kilohertz. That means we can uh, easily sample kilohertz range signal. Think about the 50 hertz signal, 100 hertz signal, or 10 hertz. Um, 20, uh, 200 hertz signal or 1 kilohertz signal easily using Arduino analog grid. So in such case, what we do, we just write uh, sample the signal and after that we need to see the signal. That's why we just print the signal. So there's a problem with this uh, traditional approach. So I will show you in this the problem and I will also show you the solution uh, in this video. So for this reason, this is my hardware setup. This is my actually simulation setup. I don't have proper hardware setup. That's why I will show you the whole thing using Proteus simulation. And, our, and I will also write my code in Arduino ID. So for setting up the Proteus simulation, I have just um, connected my Arduino IDs terminal with this uh, Proteus using Compin. I have also a video on this, how you can do this. Please see the description below. And I've also used ATmega 328. That is the Arduino uno main microcontroller and you can you can also see a video how you can turn your 80 mega 320 microcontroller into arduino you know so that you can simulate your arduino code okay so let's see the problem below okay now i will see all my sampling signal into protea uh, arduino id using serial plotter okay first first check the serial uh, terminal is working properly using this and um, just communication port too and my as my just border is 9600 that is perfect so let me run the simulation first see i am seeing the same value in this terminal proteus terminal as well as my arduino id and my arduino is already now connected with the proteus simulation okay now i can see the plot easily here serial plotter Just do it. Let me open the serial plotter again. Oh, this one, right? See the beautiful signal. This is the same signal I have in my Proteus simulation. That means I can easily see my Proteus sim. Uh, I you can easily high speed signal. That is actually 10 hertz is not that much high speed in um, Arduino uh, Arduino serial plotter in this way. The but the problem will arise. When I will increase the sampling frequency, just wait for this one. So now my signal is uh, what is this called? Uh, 10 hertz. Now I'll increase the signal into 50 hertz. That is 50 hertz. Let's convert this into 50 hertz. Now see the problem. When I increase my signal into 50 hertz, the real problem begins. See, my signal is not perfect. See, so I was supposed to see the signal like this one, but I'm not seeing the signal because the sig um, because there's a problem with my sampling right now. Um, my current setup cannot sample 50 hertz signal. So now in the next, I will explain why this is happening. You see the 10 hertz signal was sampling properly, but 50 hertz signal is not sampling properly. There's the aliasing in the 10 hertz signal and I'm getting different signal rather than 50 hertz, sorry. I'm getting different signal rather than 50 hertz signal. So I will explain why this is happen happening and how you can solve this problem. So for sampling any signal, we know that Nyquist rate is uh, very popular. So you have to um, take more than two sample per cycle. That is the, uh, known as Nyquist rate. And so in this signal, think about this is a 50 year signal and we are taking sufficient signal. But in the below case, you can see that one sample is taking here and the sample is taking here and the sample is taking here. So, so for this reason, another um, the another signal is creating that is not the original frequency. So this phenomena is known as the um, aliasing. So when you take a, when you just um, keep your sample frequency uh, uh, just uh, low enough, um, to your original frequency in that case uh, another signal is created that is known as aliasing signal so let me explain what is happening in our case so for explaining this uh, i need to draw a sine wave okay so this is my expected 50 hertz sine wave i need to sample this one so i need to take sample point here and the sample point here and the sample point here 
okay so as i am taking uh, sample around 10 kilohertz so that means i can um, i am just taking sample uh, after what is that 10 microsecond 10 kilohertz uh, let me just calculate this this should be 10 microsecond or 100 uh, one Sorry, there should be 100 microsecond. That should be 100 microsecond. Okay, but what is happening in our code? So I am taking first sample. So this is my consider that this is my first sample, right? After that, I am printing serial. Um, I am just printing the val this value in serial print LN. So in such case, serial print print and baud rate is uh, 9600. So for 9600 baud rate, for just sending any value into my computer, I need around one millisecond. Okay. So think about that. I want to send this uh, character um, that is uh, five one two. This is the analog value. And what is the number of character here? One two three. And there is a null character after that. I mean, that means I have to send four character. For sending four character uh, to my computer, I need four millisecond, right? That means I am just taking one sample here and another sample after four millisecond. So if this whole window is uh, ten millisecond, because because this is fifty hertz signal, whole window is ten millisecond, right? So this fifty hertz millisecond signal that means i am taking one sample here and the sample here and the sample here and another sample here here so that's why i am not getting the real phenomena of my signal so this is a problem happening inside my code so here the main culprit is the serial print element because serial print print element is um, just far more lower running in far more lower speed than my sampling frequency uh, that's my sampling speed that is 100 microsecond so that is why i'm not getting the actual sample value so if i need to dust and serial print element value uh, serial print element is not um, just running in a constant speed so that's why so in such case i am facing this problem due to serial print so we shouldn't use any serial print talent in between taking our sample so that is the main goal so now we understand that that the main culprit is the arduino serial print so that means um, when we are just taking sample we cannot uh, execute any other commands or any other course in between this that's why we have to take a um, just buffering mechanism because buffering mechanism is the old and useful mechanism in such cases so to solve this problem let's um, begin with um, a big buffer so that we can just take a sample in buffer after that we can process the sample and print the sample anything we can do after that so for this let's take a big buffer uh, analog buffer so the buffer size should be uh, for the simplicity just take 200 and this is the 200 is buffer and we will first run a for loop i equals to 0 to i less than 200 i plus plus and in this for loop we will just sample analog signal directly without executing any other commands and we will save this sample into this buffer right what is what this loop is doing this is a simple loop this is just increasing the buffer index from 0 to 199 and taking sample and just saving sample with the analog buffer 0 analog buffer after that analog buffer 1 analog buffer 2 is just just the same way analog buffer 199 so we are not just doing anything in in between taking samples so in this way we can just keep the sampling frequency stable and we can sample the signal in a after particular time so this is the proper way so you can sample okay now i have just sampled my signal so i need to print my signal so or i need to process my signal or i need to and just calculate the rms value of this ac signal so we, can, we first we have to take the sample so this is the proper way you can just keep the sampling frequency stable 
without doing any other task. So now I will just print my sample in serial plotter. Okay, serial dot print align. What's the what's the variable? This is the array, so I'll print one after another. Right. Let's comment these two lines. Now I'll experiment these codes. So let's hope for the best, right? Just uh, export compiled binary so that I can use the X file into my R Rodia simulation. Just wait for it. I think now we are good to go. And I need to open the serial plotter again. And just let's start my simulation. See? That means uh, you can see that uh, there is a, a discontinuity in between the plotting of the graph. So I will explain why this is happening. But the good point is that we are getting a good sample in between this range and this range. That means from this side to this side, we are covering 200 sample. If you calculate from this to this, you can you'll easily understand that. So this is, but in between this sample, the sample is just accurate and precise. So this is a good point about using buffer for sampling high, high speed signal and the also sampling frequency is stable in such cases. So if you just need a bigger signal and then this one, you have to increase your buffer size. So let's increase this buffer size to 500. Just sample 500 signal. Okay. So that means whenever you are taking or sampling an analog signal or uh, AC signal, you have to just first you have to sample the signal. After that, you will print signal, pre, uh, post process your signal, calculate any type of uh, calculate DFT, calculate FFT, or calculate RMS, anything you can calculate after that. But always you have to remember that while, while you are just taking your sample to make the sampling frequency stable and constant you have to just take the sample first in a bar and you have to save your sample in a buffer this is a proper way of sampling signal or for any type of um, measuring any type of value from rms value mean value anything you can do this uh, you can use this technique okay let's ex uh, experiment this one for 500 buffer size So when I increase the buffer size, now see uh, my signal. I can I'm getting a bigger continuous signal. I mean, so in this way, so see from this point to this point. That means I'm getting a whole window window of continuous signal. This is a good point if I need a um, just a bigger window for processing my signal. So this is a proper way of sampling a signal. Uh, say, sampling AC signal using Arduino. So just keep uh, remember this one. Okay, and I need to uh, just um, explain another thing. So most of the time we just work with a line following robot. In such cases, while we are taking sample from the sensor, we also print the sensor in the signal while just running our PID controller. We are just um, and applying a debug log or serial log in between the codes. So this is not the proper way of just running any uh, time critical or any uh, digital filter or any type of just uh, algorithm so while you are just uh, running any discrete algorithm you have to just remember that you have to calculate any point or anything after a such interval so just to keep the integrity don't print serial log in between those such type of code just print serial log uh, in separate thread or separate way hey, i think that's all and if you just think that you are benefit from this video i try to subscribe my channel and if you have any question just put your uh, question in the comment box and you will get the, all the links and rest of the description and all the source code in the comment box and as well as in the description thank you